I'm Richard Lewis, point for Carrot.org. I'm here with the runners-up from the uh, grand final of the Blast 2012, one of the representatives, and it's uh, Glaive from Epsilon. Uh, first things first, uh, obviously you're going to be a little bit disappointed, I imagine, with the way things went. Can you talk me through uh, your emotions in the, the, the final, uh, what was going through your head, especially at 15-3 down? Yeah. When it was 15-3, uh, I just uh, I actually thought we would uh, just lose 16-3. Uh, but uh, we came back, and I um, wanted I wanted to win again. And uh, they just did some amazing things that uh, we couldn't do anything about it because they are so good uh, individually. So we couldn't do anything about it. They're really good goals. Is it disappointing to lose to a team, even a team of really good individuals? when you're a team that's been together for a year and is well drilled and was, I would say up until this point, considered the best team in Denmark? Yeah, we are considered the best team, but Wolves, I don't know, it's really strong. Uh, I hate to meet uh, Device, I hate to meet Wands. Wands, he had like uh, 32 frags in uh, 15 rounds uh, and 6 deaths. Uh, and uh, then we are meeting uh, K June, that is uh, playing really good for MT MTW the last uh, two, the last six months or something. Uh, actually, I just thought we couldn't do anything because they were fucking strong. They were really strong. Um, what about in terms of preparation f for the event? Did you guys work hard and practice hard, or uh, were, were you like a lot of the teams here, just kind of taking it casually and? and ex just seeing what happens? No, we didn't. Uh, our break was uh, really bad uh, to this event because uh, the summer was here and the uh, people doesn't, uh, doesn't want to uh, practice. They just want to uh, go out and uh, be in the sun and just have fun, uh, but we need to practice. So people is just uh, listen to music uh, when we are practicing and we, we aren't really uh, 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 doing uh, something good. We aren't, uh, uh, what is called, uh, we aren't uh, doing any new ta tactics or something. We're just playing our own game and uh, trying to win. And it works pretty good, but not against something that are better than us uh, would aim. Um, in terms of uh, where this leaves you, I mean, what, what's next for Epsilon? Are you going to go back to that drawing board and come up with new ideas, new plans? Are you going to get yourself to a big European land this summer? I mean, are we going to see you on the road? What, what, what are the plans for the future? Uh, the plans for the future are just think we're going to have fun the, in the summer break. And uh, after the summer break, we're just going to see uh, how it goes. Uh, maybe we're going to play together still. Maybe we're not. I don't know. Uh, if people want to play, it's really good because I want to play after the summer. But right now, it just feels like Let's just have a break. Yeah. Uh, what about in terms of where this kind of leaves Epsilon's place in European terms? Because we uh, you did finish third at Copenhagen Games, which was the strongest competitive land for CSS. Losing a local event, I mean, that can happen. That happened to CKRAS several times, and they still went on to get a silver medal at ESWC. So are you guys worried that there's been a shift in the balance of power? Uh, yeah, we are worried. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it feels really good to be in this team. Uh, I've always been with uh, MCL, Nilla and uh, Regin. And uh, this team is just uh, much more... Uh, we are really good friends, uh, both uh, inside the game and uh, outside the game. So I really love this team. I hope we can uh, stick together and just uh, keep moving on and keep uh, making new ideas for the, the team play in-game. Uh, making new flashes, making new uh, smokes, and just uh, I hope we can just beat the uh, Copenhagen Wolves at the next event. I will bring up the, the Copenhagen Games thing because I know you had a few things you wanted to say. Uh, following on from the game with the Germans, you made some comments on a, a forum uh, about the legitimacy of the Germans. Uh, I believe there was a few cross words exchanged. And it kind of made you come out of it looking like a bad guy. So uh, what, what are your thoughts and is there anything you want to add about that issue? Yeah, it really uh, made me look like a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy at all. I love playing uh, Counter-Strike Source and I uh, love playing uh, all games. Uh, I, don't, I don't hate Germans at all. I love Germans. I love uh, Bayern, uh, Munich and uh, 
I just want to say I'm sorry to the Germans because uh, they played really good against us and they, they deserve to win. Yeah. I mean, I've got to be honest because I did a VOD, I, I actually watched the game and did a commentary on it and it just looked like you guys were tired, like just not hitting your shots and making a lot of mistakes. It didn't look dodgy in the slightest. At any point, did you really believe that there were they were maybe cheating. I mean, did you really believe at the time you said it, or was it just something to say because you were angry? Honestly. I re okay, honestly, I really want to say that I didn't think they cheat, but at some point, uh, just after we lost the game to Atex, it uh, made me think about uh, a lot of things, uh, like if they have uh, some uh, thing is their headphones, uh, when they hear, when they uh, uh, see us uh, through the smoke, it, uh, I don't know what to say because they just, uh, it wasn't a team play, they wasn't good as uh, Weary Games. Weary Games is really good, they're just uh, flashing us and they're uh, killing us. But uh, Attacks just uh, shot us through all boxes, all smokes. We didn't know what to do, we couldn't plant, we, we couldn't uh, get onto the A side, uh, A bomb side on Tuscan and uh, plant the bomb because they just uh, shot us through the smokes and through the boxes. Uh, we actually did not, we didn't uh, know what to do at all. But uh, I mean, now that you've had time to reflect, I mean, you think they just had, you know, a good land? Yeah, I think they had a good land. I don't want to say they did really good in the EPS uh, land finals as well. Uh, they won it, I think. Um, I didn't saw their games, but when they're doing, uh, you may have seen the video of Solik kissing someone yeah, uh, by accident. Yeah, I saw that. It's very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. But uh, when they're winning uh, two, uh, uh, or they come, came second and Copenhagen, and then won the EPS finals, they, I don't think they cheat at all. They, they just, uh, they have improved themselves really much. They, um, I think, uh, Rattlesnake learned them much when he played with them. Uh, I think he played with, uh, I don't know, three of them or something. And um, he just made the gameplay uh, much better, and he's a really good tag leader. And uh, I just think they improved, uh, improved uh, very much. Um, so finally, because obviously you can hear the parties raging, I know you want to get back to the bar. Uh, just some thoughts about the Blast 2012, uh, some thoughts about the Danish scene. I mean, uh, where do you rank this event in all the Danish events that you've attended? Uh, the Blast is... Uh, a very good event. I've been to, uh, this is the fourth, and I've been to uh, four events, so I've been to them all. Uh, it's maybe the best event in Denmark, because uh, there's never delay, never delay. Um, and uh, I'm always uh, playing uh, solid, and uh, my mates are always playing really good. Uh, I love my mates, they just, uh, yeah, we are playing very good, and uh, the blast is a sick event. All right, well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. I'll, I'll let you get back to uh, drowning your sorrows at the bar with the rest of your team and just seeing them off show. If you want to do come in and just have a wave at the camera because I know you've been itching to get involved at some point. So there you go. There's the boys. That's uh, Kevin Kevin and Jogan. Uh, guys, it's, uh, <laughs> just before a punch-up breaks out, I just want to say commiserations, honestly. You played really well. It's been a great event for me. Nice to be here. And uh, enjoy the rest of uh, the night's festivities. Thanks a lot, brother. Hey, I want to say uh, I'm sorry to uh, to Gux for. Uh, yeah, we nearly forgot about him. Uh, he said, uh, I think I said I would uh, I would uh, punch him on land, but uh, I would never do that. I'm a lovely man. Uh, don't hurt me, please. I'm a very good guy. So, so there you go. Please, please for mercy. Uh, honestly, thanks for talking to us and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you.